impeachment showdown and that wild scene on Capitol Hill where several Republican lawmakers tried to slow down the proceedings by storming the committee room. Democrats are now seeking to sanction them for breaking House rules, and Wednesday's key witness, a top Pentagon official on Ukraine, did eventually complete her testimony. Our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, checking it all. Good morning, Mary. George, good morning. This was a contentious and rowdy scene here on the Hill. Republicans protesting just one day after stunning testimony directly implicated the president in a campaign to pressure Ukraine. Republicans are slamming the process here, demanding that witnesses be questioned out in the open, while Democrats say Republicans are simply freaked out by the revelations in this investigation and are now trying to stop it. We're going to go and see if we can get inside. So, Chaos on Capitol Hill as the president's allies brought the impeachment inquiry to a grinding halt. We demand open proceedings. The American people deserve nothing less. Trying to force their way into the secure room where Democrats and Republicans were trying to question a key witness. The disruption delaying the testimony of the top Pentagon official overseeing Ukraine for five hours. The president has been urging Republicans to fall in line and toughen up. This is an effort to please the president, to try to shut down the process. It's a stun. Democrats say Republicans are trying to distract from explosive testimony against the president. They're just trying to be disruptive because the facts are not on their side. The Republican protest coming just one day after the top U.S. diplomat in Ukraine, Bill Taylor, described in detail what the president and his allies have been denying, a quid pro quo campaign. Taylor outlining how Trump himself insisted on withholding millions of dollars in military aid to force Ukraine to investigate his political rivals. Even some in the president's own party say it's potentially damaging. The number two Republican in the Senate, John Thune, saying the picture coming out based on the reporting we've seen is not a good one. On Twitter, Trump is going after Taylor, calling him a never-Trumper diplomat, saying it would be really great if the people within the Trump administration could stop hiring never-Trumpers. But Taylor is a career diplomat who served under presidents of both parties and was asked to return to Ukraine in May by Trump's own Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. Now, none of the Republicans who spoke out at this protest yesterday defended the president against these allegations that he held up that military aid to pressure Ukraine. Instead of focusing on the substance, Republicans are taking on the process. But, George, there is precedent for holding these depositions behind closed doors. Republicans have supported it in the past, and Democrats do say that they will eventually hold public hearings. Right. The depositions usually go before the open hearings. But are the Democrats feeling more pressure to get to those open hearings more quickly? Well, George, we're told that this investigation in the House is likely to go on for another four to six weeks, which means you're looking at these hearings going public sometime in the middle of next month. George. Mary Bruce, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.